We've lit the fourth candle on our Lenten wreath to remind us that Christ is ever present with us as we journey. And we remember that we have been building our little Zen garden. And we remember that on the first Sunday of Lent, we remember Jesus going into the wilderness and we thought about wilderness and sand and how the sand is made up of beautiful tiny little grains. And that reminded us that mindfulness was a good way of slowing our minds down and our hearts down so we could think more about how to be close to God. And on the second Sunday, we remembered that God told Abram to go and Abram went. So we think about pilgrimage. We think about the journeys of our lives and the pathways that we carve with our lives and that God is present with us and that God is the light that goes with us as we journey. On the third Sunday of Lent, we remember that the Israelites got kind of mad at Moses because they were really thirsty. So Moses struck a rock in the wilderness and there was water in the wilderness. And we thought about how water is something that flows through the human body and the sound of it is very soothing. And it reminds us that we're all connected by oceans and rivers and the water that's in the air, the water that, require, that is required for us to live. And so it reminds us of being united with all of God's creation. And so listening to water can be a spiritual practice that can also bring you closer to God, just like mindfulness and pilgrimage. This Sunday, we're going to think about how caring for others is a spiritual practice that can make us feel much closer to God. And at this time, when everybody's struggling with worries about being sick or getting sick, we think about the different ways that we can heal people. Now, Jesus met a man who was born blind. And to heal this man, he reached down into the dirt and he picked up some dirt and he mixed a little water with the dirt and he made an ointment. And he told the man to smear this on his eyes and that he would be able to see. And so he did, and the man was able to see. And so we think about that gift that God gives us to care for one another. And we think about the ointments of our lives right now, most particularly one of our ointments is hand sanitizer and how important it is to keep our hands clean and, and to keep our hands away from other people so that we can keep our neighbors safe. And that's one way of caring for others in a way that shares the compassion that Christ has for us. So this Sunday we think about the spiritual practice of caring for others, which is another way that we can remind, remind ourselves and remind each other that we're all very close to God. <laughs> 